The blood that flows through her veins is special and extremely dangerous. If showing pity would put my allies in danger, I will not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play hey. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Pardon me. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, this is not the library. Not the library at all. So we are finishing up the library this episode. So I got halfway around, so I should have looked at this one already. Okay, yeah, we've seen this before. So, starting here then. Words of love. Table of contents. How to compliment a lover. Odd affection. The myth of the true love singularity. St. Sethlian's love garland. Yeah, Alone time and the freedom of time. Date of removal from set of and set of signature follow. All pages are missing so the contents. Is this purely because he doesn't want Flane to know what love is? What is love? Don't touch my daughter. Tip song. They were celebrating the marriage of the young emperor Lyacronian III, and she did until the full moon that waned through the half moon. The waitstaff scurried around the castle refilling golden glasses, all present savored the taste of fine pockets from Barabbas, as well as the screams of the northern swordsmen as they were torn apart by wow. Wow? Okay, I was not expecting to read that. Wild beast during the. The countless dishes and banquet table, each overflowing with spectacular offense. Reached the end after the four scenes, raised massive platters, just waiting for our green fingers to snatch them up. In the honor of Saint Keyhole, guardian of the land, prime Grandora, wheat was used to bake endless loaves of delectable bread. In honor of Saint Seth, the unsavory fish presented, a dish she is believed of not. When the clown dressed as Saint Saros decapitated the criminal dressed as King. Interesting. They were cheered with unbridled enthusiasm. The young man, starring as Emperor Wilhelm, got to say it and pulled into a close embrace and leave beckoned to me. I slipped my ears and whispered sweet nothing, hearing Emperor Wilhelm and Saint Sarah's conversation. That's a little confusing, because, like, the, the Emperor Wilhelm pulled. Suddenly back me, so there's multiple people pretending to be Emperor Wilhelm. Oh, it's a novel, but it's still a novel that apparently talks about actual things that happened. Um, and like people being put to the sword for fun. Moose meat. Albanian moose is preferable. If unavoidable, beef or horse may be substituted. Though the dish's meat flavor will be somewhat altered. That's the message. Be sure to skin, gut, and clean the fish before use. The non no treasure fruit. The fruit to obtain is well worth the effort. If necessary, boa fruit may be substituted. Seasoning and spices. A dressing of rock salt, herbs, and aquarius, and plenty of light can serve for the controller and menu. Special dish, prepared for the new emperor ceremonies. Its ingredients can be rare, make it rather expensive. Those must restrain themselves from seeking bites during preparation. Why is this removed? Is it because they actually used the Goddess Messenger as a ingredient for food? I guess. Was there more on this side? I feel like there was. One, two, three, four, five. And then that was the middle one. One, two, three. Yeah. Huh. Whoops. I did not split that in half correctly. My beloved, you were right. It seems you would not hesitate to divide the house. What's more? I hear he's considering taking half his territory and draining the kingdom. I can't believe he would even consider dragging another region into this as a minister of trouble over his inheritance. At a time when the alliance desperately needs to unite, he's clearly out of his mind. He bears a major crest and do a minor crest. Your father was wisest to declare you the heir. The heir. As it were, I cannot help but wonder what your intentions with me are. I am drowning in a letter proposing marriage. That beast. He may not share your face, but resemblance. He may share your face, but it is there. So Mary is such a foul creature. Don't come back to me soon. I am going to you. I forget that my father's blessing could be revoked at any moment. 
Old Fart dared you at the end of the lone moon. You better be prepared for my arrival. I wish to marry you for me to draw the moon. Why? No. I am a woman after all. Right? Harbor Queen's being a garland bride. Understood? Great. I get so. So that was whenever. Was that. That was Daredru, but it was apparently before Daredru was a separate. Pardon me. You know, Aria. Okay, so that is that. Hey. Uh, we also do we did unlock a few support options where we were talking. Obviously, Petra and Torash are still just going to run to each other when I look around. But Ash, I talk to Happy, and actually finish off Happy. Go 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 go, Ash. This is why I keep telling people we need to keep her underground. It's a miracle that no one was hurt. Next time, we may not be so lucky. Uh, this is... What makes you so certain this incident was caused by her sighing? It seems unfair to cast blame until you're truly sure. Ash is such a good person. Isn't it obvious? A horde of monsters appeared out of nowhere and attacked us. Uh-oh. You guys are talking about me, aren't you? There you are. You won't get away with this crime. I'll make sure everyone knows who was to blame. She can cook you in your armor and, like, with a glance. Hey, you didn't answer my question. It is interesting how insolent the random knights are, considering that we're, like, the strike force and the most powerful individuals in the cathedral. He doesn't care what we have to say. Forget about it. No, you told me you had nothing to do with this. I can't just leave it alone. Yes, you can. And you don't need to worry about it. But I do. What if they pressured you into confessing something you hadn't actually done? Yeah, uh, Ash actually has some experience with this, too. They mean well, but they seem to think they have good reasons to suspect you. Those suspicions could lead to forceful questioning. They'll do anything to get to the bottom of this. You're probably right. If he has his way, they'll do whatever they can to pin it on me. What about you? There isn't some part of you that agrees with that creep? No. I know you don't sigh unless you absolutely can't help it. So there's a weird thing just a sigh. You would never endanger people like that unless something pushed you over the edge. I know this wasn't your fault. You said as much and I believe you. That's sweet. But unfortunately, your conviction isn't good for much on its own. We have no proof. Then we'll find proof. If you didn't cause it, then something else did. We just have to find out what. I'll investigate the site where we were attacked. There could be a monster nest nearby. Okay. I, this is, this is it, 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 it's again, and it's it's just the budget, but I'm like, I wish this was happening somewhere other than here. And this seems like a very delayed conversation, you know, based on the background. You're so darn trusting, Freckles. For all you know, I could be lying. And he trusts you, he said Your so. Your commitment to honesty is as strong as mine. You'd never turn your back on our common bond. Okay, that's a bit much. <laughs> See, I, I love how she just completely speaks. She's like, what? <laughs> You're just like the Luna Knight. Hey, come on. I was being serious. Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, I promise. I guess part of me was hoping to meet one of those storybook heroes. Now I finally have. If that's how you feel, then I'm going to live up to it. I'll do my best to make sure you never sigh again. Shitty. And then Balthus has- Oh, is also finishing off Hilda. We only have the little lady to finish. I mean, like, obviously the rest of the Ashen House, but he's going to finish those yeah. just by combat. Yeah. Training at this hour? How unexpectedly diligent of you. He ran out of booze money. Ah, Hilda! How are things? Anything of note to report? Other than that you're staying up at all hours and avoiding uh, the areas you might be expected to be. Um, no? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, I don't know. You haven't been approached by any lovelorn goons lately, have you? Hmm, now that you mention it, it's been a few days since any guys have flirted with me. Aww, I bet Balthus is keeping them away. Fantastic, they got the hint. 
Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Are you pulling some weird prank on me? Always? Of course not. I'm just doing my best to keep my promise to Holst. That's all. Oh, not this again. That was ages ago. I'm sure my brother's forgotten all about it. Dead wrong, pal. I actually had the chance to see him recently, and he had a new request for me. <laughs> what? He told you to get rid of any guys who show interest in me so that I stay his innocent little sister forever? That sounds more like Sedith than Holst, don't you think? Hmm, fair point. What was the request? Guys here have the gall to consider you a potential bride. It's my job to test him. I do love that, like, outlook of, yeah, that's, that's more Sedith than Holst. I don't like where this is going. Since Holst isn't here to do the honors, I've spread the word that nobody is fit to marry you unless they can defeat the great king of grappling in a fight. I thought you were the undefeated king of grappling. What? That's exactly the same as getting rid of them. <laughs> How so? It only eliminates the guys who are dumb enough to take up the challenge. No one is that dumb. No one around here thinks they can beat the stupendous king of grappling or whatever. I could. If I, you know, was playing as uh, Mirage. That's why I leveled the playing field by allowing sneak attacks. Plenty have already tried their luck. One guy actually tried to strangle me in my sleep. <laughs> God damn it, Balthus! Wow, a sleep strangler. He sounds like husband material. And that's why I've been training so much. Can't let you end up with some weakling after all. I think you have the wrong idea of what makes a successful marriage. This is madness! If you keep getting stronger, there won't be anyone who fits the bill. I mean, again, I could do it, Holst could do it. Oh, that'd be freaking weird. <laughs> I, I retract that statement. True. You could spend your whole life searching and never find a match for Balthus the Great. The only people who stand a chance are Holst and me. <laughs> to prove that you're worthy of my hand in marriage, you're going to fight yourself? I always knew I was my own best <laughs> enemy. One day I'll finally meet my equal in battle. Me. So you're going to punch yourself out? Is that your idea? Okay, this is amazing, adventure? actually. When that fateful day arrives, Hilda, I want you to know that I intend to keep my word. You're going to, you're going to take yourself out. Huh. What girl could do worse, I suppose? All right, and that is all of those that we had. So let's go back to the monastery. You still have many, many, many and wonderful people to talk to. But I gotta say, I actually thought going through the other half of the library was going to take at least 10 minutes by itself. Like, that was much faster than I was anticipating. That leaves me a lot of problems. Like, that novel that, you know, had, you know, um, the northerners just being put to the sword. It... That could also be very easily just be argued. Yeah, that that didn't actually happen. It was it was banned because it cast the church in a bad light, even without being true. If we can suppress this Murden, we can invade into the Empire, right? Yes. I was in the Empire. Now I will be an enemy. I am having strange feelings. It is with ease that an ally turns into an enemy. Unfortunately, it's we, you don't fight for causes. You fight or you don't fight for defense in wars like this, and it, it's tough. Wow, things would have gotten a lot more interesting if Judith had joined us. It is unfortunate. I only spoke to her briefly, but I really liked her. I hope someday I can be as strong, kind, and level-headed as her. Okay, so this is the Advanced Bow Tournament. Well, Bernie is level 28 and an A+. Plus. Shamir is level 26. That's the problem, I don't really have a great bow person. So I've got is Leone, and she is probably... Yeah, she's C rank. Edmund is... I think my best bet is actually Bernadetta. I still don't think I'll win, but it's worth a shot. Oh yeah, 13 times 2. This is bad. This is very bad. This is bad, badly low ground. Yeah. 
I'm supposed to dodge that, Bernie. I'll be home again soon. Yeah, I'm not winning this for sure. Thirteen twenty-two times two. Kind of use a healing chain for a little bit, but at least this is what I can win pretty easily. Dodge, please. Pretty good, huh? Okay, another of the same. Come on, crit. Damn. Come on, dodge. Damn. I might be able to get past this one, I kinda doubt it though. Like this enemy does a lot more damage to me than yeah, I I they I need that 10% dodge. Did not get it. But I mean no, no real shame in losing that to be honest, because I don't have a dedicated archer. Like, Bernie was only as high level as she was because she hung out with Seth a lot. Professor, it's thanks to you that I'm here now. It certainly is. I owe you, Professor. You saved my life. I swear I'll do all I can to repay that debt. Hello, Here's soldier. The On the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden lies the territory of Acheron of the Alliance. And to the south, the Empire's Burglies territory. Count Burglies has held the position of Minister of Military Affairs for the Empire ever since the days of Emperor Ionius. The current Emperor seems to have brought the corrupt nobility to heal, but Count Burglies looks to be an exception. Interesting. Okay, no one's inside the rooms. I had an encounter with Lord Gwendol. How many years ago was it? Back before the Academy, I met this girl who I fell madly in love with, and her dad tried to kill me. Okay, you might- I'm glad you started this out with Lord Gwendol, because I'm sure this story has had like 18 iterations with you. I suppose he just tried to scare me, but I was sure I was gonna die. Oh yeah, her dad? Lord Gwendol. Crazy, right? I never thought I'd seriously be trying to kill the guy in battle. I kind of don't know how to make sense of it. Let me cut through here. Maybe. See if Bernie is in a fur bunk. Is. Professor. This is actually, I think, the best way of going about it. I just passed her. No, I didn't. More isn't kind to you if you're a recluse. I mean, it's kind of the most kind of. By for the you. time you realize what's going on, you're already under attack. And if you're off by yourself, you can get killed with no one ever even finding out. Oh, that'd be awful. Just terrible. Okay, Professor, I get it. I know I'll have to come out. All right. And who's down here? Obviously, I did the gardening off screen, the but... The Great Bridge of Murden isn't just a bridge. It has the features of a fortress. I believe it was built for military purposes by the first leader of the Adrestian Empire. In other words... It's even older than the monastery. So if we occupy the Great Bridge, we'll have to search it from top to bottom. I love it. I was like, there might just be secrets that the first emperor left here. I'm like, I, I, I doubt it. Hello. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. All right. And then in here, Captain Rafi. <laughs> Thanks to all that food from Judith, I'm full for once. I've got so much energy. Let me at that great bridge of Murden. I'll bust it down myself. Oh, but then how do we cross? <laughs> Raphael is so amazing. With life returning to the monastery, the unease of the church's followers is slowly abating. Good. The number of people coming to the town church dwindled over the past five years, but we're seeing a resurgence. To reward and accommodate their devotion, we have to hurry and rebuild the church. 
people are slowly starting to come back to the town. Which is excellent news. I guess they feel safe now that you and the Knights of Saros have returned. Peddlers have become more common too, so there'll be food and supplies available. After being run down for all those years, it's really becoming livable again. Fantastic. Pardon me, Professor. <laughs> all right, something down here. I already talked to Anna to buy stuff, and she had nothing to say. But you have a quest, and I am interested in what your quest is. I need your help. <laughs> Greetings, Professor. Hey, Cap, nothing please to move. Report. Oh, I heard what happened at ALL. I can't believe Imperial spies have been lurking in Garrick Mock under my watch. <laughs> but I'll make sure no more of them get in. Trust me. And here's Cyril. Is it true Lady Rhea was dragged off by the Imperial Army? I heard that was true. Why'd they take Lady Rhea? Professor, they didn't take her to kill her, did they? I mean, again, if they wanted to kill her, they would have just put her down right there. That's good. We just gotta beat the Imperial Army and get her back, right? You gotta help her, Professor. I'm begging you. Well, just be glad this isn't the, uh... Metal Guard campaign. For some reason, I keep wanting to say the hey Golden Deer campaign because Claude disliked the church so much. But no, we, we do save her in the Golden Deer campaign. We came from the territory of House Daphnel. It's not easy to leave one's home, but it had to be done. Judith asked us so earnestly, there was no way we could have refused. We can trust you, right? I'd hate to end up just another pointless death. I'd heard of the hero of Daphne, but that was the first time I've met her in person. I figured you two would actually get along quite well. She's the head of a prestigious noble family? Just like Claude. The Alliance nobility is so... odd. Kind of, but I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> you won't find such big-hearted nobles elsewhere. Plus, Judith can drink with the best of them. A woman after my own heart. Yeah, I wonder what you two got up to after the cutscene. Be a fly in that room. Hey, Eloise. So Lady Rhea was in the Empire all this time. Maybe kind of suspected that. Glad as I am that Judith told us. I wish we had known this five years. She disappeared in a battle with the Empire. Where do you think she is? We spent all that time spread out over Fodlan, searching for the Archbishop and you. It was a mistake to abandon the monastery, to leave it in ruins. Now we're paying for that mistake. Five years ago, when the Imperial Army attacked Garrig Mach, they moved with incredible speed. But in the middle of all that chaos, she still had operatives watching. The hero of Daphnel's spy network is impressive. She shouldn't be taken lightly. I mean, I think it's Claude's spy network, actually. But, you know. And Felix, what are you doing in here with all the important people? We have the Empire and Alliance situations under control. The problem is Fargus. The Eastern Lords have joined forces and are warring with the Dukedom. But I've heard nothing about that conflict as of late. It's strange. It is. I haven't heard much from my father either. I can't help but find this silence unsettling. Hello there. Okay, so nothing up here. There are some people. On the upper right, part of right. this area. Listen to this. The Aramid River separates the Empire and Alliance. It's the largest river in Fodlan. Sometimes it'll flood when there's lots of rain, but at least the land gets some extra water. <laughs> That's an optimist. Here's an idea. Count Gloucester of the Alliance is supposed to be the head of the faction that supports the Empire. That being said, the Count himself is an ardent follower of Saros. And likely That's not something I hadn't really heard before. The commoners are also allies of the Knights. We should be able to reach Murden without incident. Okay, and then... Yeah, so I've already talked to... that is... 
the Oni. I think there's... I think one of these is one I haven't talked to. Hmm. Nope, I have. Um, who was that? I think I remember speaking by and talking to someone there, actually. Hey, yes, I agree. So, that was Judith. Just as I'd heard of her, she was an upstanding person. The same Daphnal blood runs through my veins, and yet I feel as though I am nothing like her. I am but a phantom of what could be. Well, what is going to be, maybe. You think so? Wow, thank you. Hey, you. Hey, Ferdy. What used to be Iyer territory lies far to the east of the Great Bridge of Murden, downstream of the Aramid River. For the sake of my family, I wish we could invade the Empire from there. But I do not have the power to advocate for that. Strategically, Murden is more important. Thank you, Professor. I will not give in. Not until I have received. I do actually really like pride. how Ferdinand... Like, a lot of them will join either... Like, all of them will join the either side of the conflict, depending on what I do. But his justification for it is really cool. Where he's just like, yeah, like, being a noble isn't just standing up for the Empire, it's standing up for the people. Professor, Lady Rhea is in the Empire, isn't she? We should hurry up and find her. So many people in the monastery and nearby towns are worried. I want to ease their minds as soon as possible, Professor. Let's work together to find Oh, we her. will. That, that's literally what we're doing. <laughs> that was mean of me, I apologize. Since I'm originally from the Empire, it seems no one trusts me with any important tasks. Fine by me. Honestly, I bet they're watching my every move to make sure I can be trusted. I mean, there's a lot of you Imp Imperials around here. Probably. I knew it. War makes people crazy, huh? I mean, it's just... We literally just got betrayed by a spy, dude. Right. Like, Hearing that the Knights of Saros have returned, the monks have also been coming back. We still don't have enough hands here, but we'll use all that we've got to rebuild the monastery. Glad to hear it. Until the day that Lady Rhea is returned to us, we have to do all we can. And then Plain I talked to, because I needed her to train me. Judith is a wonderful person. So strong and confident as well. Looking upon her, I was sharply reminded of my mother. Aww. Yeah, she was the only one I talked to, but I try and get as much done off-screen as I can. And we're almost done. Well, legend says that pillars of light fell and ravaged Aelaf. I was reminded of that when I yeah, saw I still don't understand how they have freaking nuclear missiles in the sky. Um, Professor? Do you think those legends are true? Absolutely. I think so too. I don't know if the goddess really destroyed the valley out of anger, but there are still so many things we don't understand in this world. That's what makes this world worth living. This is the world that we live in. Next, we face the Great Bridge of Murden. We actually crossed it a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, before the um, Battle of the Three Houses. Do you remember? It was five whole years ago. Eagle and Lion, that's what's called. It seems like so long ago, doesn't it? It's odd how fast time flies. Everyone was still friends then. After the fighting, we all ate together without splitting into our separate houses. I often wish we could go back to those peaceful actually, days. Actually, no, I think we didn't do the Battle of the Eagle and Lion in Edelgard's campaign, did we? I guess that actually makes sense, though, because that would have to mean that if we had taken over really? this place, so there was, like, how would they get to the battlefield when, you know, they'd have to come through us? We're going to invade the Empire, which means we'll be fighting people we know. We? We've already done that. If we're attacked by someone we know or used to think of as a friend, is it permitted to run away? Really? If something happens, will you keep me safe? I'll do my best. 
and the master of time. Oh, you actually have a separate conversation. I was dead certain Judith would fight by our side as well. But since she holds a position within the Alliance, it seems she has no choice but to abstain for now. If the infighting within the Alliance came to an end, maybe she'd be able to fight with us. All right. Well, almost done. Almost done. Now you two. The battle at ALL was a tactical marvel. You grow so Not really. I just ran across the battlefield. Day. Where does your talent end and your crest's power begin? Are they one and the same? I wonder. Most intriguing. Yet it is quite difficult to draw useful conclusions given the situation. It is quite unfortunate I did not achieve my research goals before the war broke out. So much unknown. <laughs> now, I fear I will not have those answers even by conflict's end. So very frustrating. Professor? Oh, hello there, well, Professor. Did you need something from me? It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. You're just looking for someone to I talk like to? I on the troops. I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Making you feel better is my top priority. Whether it's physical pain or worries of the ah, heart. Damn it, Manuel. This is why I don't like talking anything, to you. Professor. Alright, is this set up? It is set up. If Rhea really is in the Empire, then we must defeat the Imperial Army by any means yeah, we, necessary. We know you have a thing for Rhea. The people at large are just as concerned for Rhea's safety as we are. The sooner we can settle all our unease, the better. I have something to ask of you. Taking care of business every day. Is there anyone? No, we are done. Oh, but I did not actually check this. The back to the theater. We'll go ahead and look at that because we can. I did not. Excellent. All right. And so with that done, I'll go ahead and um, end this episode. Next time, as you, you you know the drill, we'll be at the end of the month, and we will be doing the um, fight. We, we will be fighting. Um, I have blanked on his name. Um, but the blue-haired noble guy from... <laughs> wow, I can't believe I completely forgot his name. Um, yeah, we'll be fighting him, and we'll be going over the Great Bridge, and it'll be awesome. See you next time. <sighs>